Hello and welcome to Lacrosse Technologies Tech Talk, a show designed around answering your questions quickly and accurately. I'm Greg Peasel, and today we will be setting up and showing you how to use your new alarm clock charging station. So, let's go! Before we get started, I should point out that this video has been organized in the chapter points, designed to help you find what you need to know quickly. So if you're looking to set up something specific, use the clickable links in the following overview screen to jump directly to that spot in this video. You can also find the times to each chapter point in the description below this video. Using this method, simply click the blue highlighted time to the right. However, if you are viewing this on a mobile device, such as a phone or tablet, you will need to drag the red playhead to the times listed below. Otherwise, just sit back and learn as we take you through each step of the setup process. So here's an overview of how this video is organized. Chapter 1, Introduction, which is actually what you are currently watching. Chapter 2, Initial Setup. We will tell you what's in the package, explain how to get your new alarm clock up and running, and walk you through the settings menu step by step. Chapter 3, LCD Layout and Icon Descriptions. In this chapter, we lead you around your alarm clock screen, detailing what each icon means in relation to each other. We will also show you how to adjust your backlight brightness. Chapter 4, USB charging ports. Here we explain how these ports work, what cords you'll need, and fully describe what each charging battery symbol means. Chapter 5, the time alarms. It is here you'll learn how to set alarms, choose their type, deactivate and or reactivate them, snooze them, and turn them off. Chapter 6, The Nap Feature, an extremely useful countdown component that lets you sleep for a designated amount of time, without having to set a custom alarm. It is within this chapter where we show you how easy this is to use. In Chapter 7, Help Us Help You, this is the final chapter where we point out the unit's model numbers, tell you how to find customized support, and show you where to interact with us on social media. All right, let's begin. Within your package, you should find one alarm clock charging station, one five volt power cable, and one instruction manual. To ensure proper function of this device, we recommend following us through these three simple steps. Step one, insert the five volt power cable into an outlet, and then into the side of the alarm clock itself. Step two is actually optional. However, we do recommend inserting two AAA batteries, according to polarity, into the back of the clock. This will help maintain the time and date information during power loss. And step three, work through the settings menu to customize how you would like this clock to function. To enter the settings menu, press and hold the set button for about three seconds, or until you see the language setting appear on screen. Once in the settings menu, you will use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the values, and the set button again to confirm your adjustments and move to the next item in the settings menu. I should also point out that if you would like to exit the settings menu at any time, simply press and release the snooze slash light button on the top left side of the unit. This will bring you back to the main screen, saving the information you may or may not have changed. So here's the order in which the settings menu will follow. First is the language setting, which allows you to choose between English or Spanish. This will affect the days of the week, month abbreviations, and instructions within the submenus. I will keep it on the default English setting by pressing and releasing the set button to move to the next item in the settings menu. Second will be the ability to turn on or off the beep function. The default is on, meaning you will hear a beep for every button push. To change this to off, you will need to press and release either the plus or minus button. To confirm your selection, press and release the set button again. Next will be the hour setting. It's about 3.30 p.m. here, so using either the plus or minus button, I will move the hour to 3, making sure the AM symbol turns off and the PM symbol turns on. Now that I'm at 3 p.m., I will press and release the set button again to jump to the minute selection. Here I will press and hold the plus button to make the numbers climb rapidly. 
Once we reach 30, I will press and release the set button again to confirm my selection. This will move us to the year setting. It is currently still 2016, so I will confirm this with the press and release of the set button. Next, we move to the month option. Today is June 13th, so I will move the month number to a 6, confirm this, and then move the following date number here to the 13th, confirming this once again with the set button. After selecting the date, the station will bring you to the Fahrenheit or Celsius temperature reading option. The default is Fahrenheit, but once again, this can easily be changed by pressing and releasing either the plus or minus button. I will, however, stick with Fahrenheit and make this my selection with another press of the set button. The final item in the settings menu is the snooze duration. This setting allows you to set a custom length between 5 and 120 minutes for how long you'd like to continue snoozing after hitting the button. The duration you select here will be used for both Alarm 1 and Alarm 2. Using the plus button, I will set this to 15 minutes and press and release the set button one final time to bring us out of the settings menu and back to the main screen, effectively saving all of the changes we have made. This chapter is designed to familiarize yourself with how this alarm's LCD screen is set up, as well as explain what each of its icons and areas represent. Area 1 has the largest digits that represent the time. This is a manual set clock which gets programmed within the settings menu. Icon 2 is the low battery icon. When this appears on screen, it is time to change the batteries in the back of the display. Icon 3 is the alarm 1 icon, which tells us an alarm is set and ready to go off at the specified time. Another thing this icon tells us is its type, which will be covered in Chapter 5. Icon 4 is the alarm 2 icon, which also tells us an alarm is set and ready to go off at its own specified time. Its type can be changed as well, but this will all be covered in Chapter 5. Area 5 on the main screen shows us the calendar, which includes the day of the week, as well as the date and month information. But when using the nap or snooze feature, this area of the screen will change to represent the specific nap or snooze duration countdown. Icons 6 and 7 represent port 1 and 2's USB charging indicators. We explain how these work in Chapter 4. Area 8 represents the indoor temperature which can be shown in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. This option is set when going through your settings menu. And finally, area 9 represents the indoor humidity. Now that you have a better understanding of what's represented on your LCD screen, let's show you how to easily adjust its brightness. When operating using the power cable, the backlight can easily be adjusted. When on the main screen, press and release the snooze slash light button conveniently located on the top left side of the clock to adjust the backlight. With each press, he will cycle through the options, high, low, and off. Now, when you are using battery power only, the screen will automatically be set to off. You can press the snooze slash light button to have the backlight turn on for 10 seconds, but after which the screen will turn off again to conserve battery power. With today's technology becoming more and more important in our everyday lives, having a convenient way to charge those devices is a vital feature to have in your alarm. Here's how this clock's USB charging ports work. When a device is plugged into one of these ports, the station will greet you with an hello screen. At this point, you should see a lightning bolt flashing to indicate the device is being charged. When the device is completely charged, a full battery will appear on screen. And as you may have noticed, when no device is connected, no battery icon will show. We recommend that you charge devices that self-regulate the power coming into them, as well as use the charging cords that came with those devices for best results. This clock's dual alarms can be set up within minutes and fit into anyone's lifestyle with ease. Here's how they work. To view what time the current alarm and or alarms are set for, Simply press and release the alarms button once to view alarm 1's time. And press and release the alarms button again to view alarm 2's time. To change and set a new alarm time, make sure you have the alarm you wish to change showing. Then press and hold the alarms button for about 3 seconds. The hour will begin flashing on screen. 
Here you can use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the alarm hour. Pay attention to the AM and PM symbols. Each time you pass the 12 o'clock hour, it will switch between the two. Now let's set alarm 2 here for, say, 8.30 AM. Once we move the hour here to 8 AM, I will press and release the alarms button again to move to the minute setting. Pressing and holding the plus button here allows me to adjust the minutes to 30 faster. This also works in the opposite direction with the minus button. Once we reach 30, we can press and release the alarms button again to move us to the alarm type setting. Using the plus and minus buttons again, you can choose how you would like this alarm to operate. A single alarm, represented with no lights under the icon, will operate as a standard alarm, going off every day. A Monday through Friday alarm, represented by the five stripes under the icon, will go off every weekday. And a weekend alarm, represented by the two stripes, will do just that, go off only on Saturday and Sunday. The default for alarm 2 is actually the weekend setting, so let's keep that and confirm this with a final press and release of the alarms button. This will set the alarm and bring us back to the main screen. You will know your alarm is activated when the icon remains lit on the main screen. Now, if you wish to deactivate or reactivate an alarm, press and release the alarms button from the main screen. Once you have the correct alarm you wish to turn on or off selected, press and release the set button to effectively deactivate and or reactivate the alarm. This is indicated with the alarm icon on the left side of the screen. Now, I know many of you are wondering how the snooze button works, or how to turn off a sounding alarm for that matter. Well, here's your answer. When the alarm sounds, press and release the snooze slash light button. The alarm will be silent for the pre-selected snooze duration we set within the settings menu in chapter 2. This duration will show in white on screen with the time counting down. When the snooze countdown reaches zero, the numbers will flash and the alarm will sound again. This snooze feature can be repeated as many times as you wish. But should you wish to shut off the snooze or a normal alarm for that matter, all you have to do is simply press and release any button besides the snooze slash light button. This will just shut off the alarm for the current day, leaving it activated for the next time it is scheduled to go off. Sometimes we just want to take a quick nap without having to set a new alarm. That is why we created the nap feature. With the touch of a button, you can instantly start a custom countdown and you're good to go. Now, let's set this up. As we have said, by simply pressing the nap button, you will start the countdown. The default is 10 minutes, but say you'd like to set this to a custom time, say 30 minutes for example. To do this, from the normal time display, press and hold the nap button for about three seconds. The word nap will appear on screen, and the time in minutes will be flashing in white. Use the plus and minus buttons to select a nap duration, up to 120 minutes. So, I will use the plus button to move the numbers here to 30 minutes. I will then press and release the nap button once again to confirm and start the nap countdown. It should be noted that once you set this custom nap time duration, the clock will remember this and keep it saved. So the next time you wish to take a nap, all you have to do is simply press and release the nap button once to start another 30 minute countdown. When the countdown reaches zero, the word nap and zero min will flash on screen, and the alarm will sound for two minutes. After these two minutes, it will then stop if no buttons are pressed. To exit the nap mode at any time, simply press and release any button except the snooze slash light button. Another important thing to point out would be the model number for this unit. If you flip the clock around to the back side, you will find both the clock's model number as well as the model number for its power cable. Additionally, the power cable will have its model number printed on itself as well. Knowing where to find these model numbers will be important if you wish to search for more information about this product online. So, for the most part, I think we've covered everything, but if you think we've missed something or should you have further questions about this product or others, please do not hesitate to ask in the comment section below. That is what these videos and our social media channels are all about. Getting you the information you need to know quickly and accurately. We are here to help you. So please follow us here on YouTube for the latest video content, like us on Facebook for some personalized interaction, and follow us on Twitter to join the conversation. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy your new alarm clock charging station. 
I'm Greg Pizzle here for Lacrosse Technologies Tech Talk. We'll see you next time. Thank you.